What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Times New Roman campaign. And guys, I'm a little bit less tired out uh, than last time. Uh, sorry about the uh, the long periods of silence and stuff last episode. <laughs> I was just not in a good state to be recording. But it's the next day now, so I am ready. I am ready to continue recording and I am ready to have a great time. So, uh, Apulia and Lucania do not have a lot of loyalty. Why? Probably partially due to war exhaustion. Par part, yeah. Also partially due to cultural assimilation that my governor has chosen. I, honest, I really don't think he needs to do that. Let me, let me just like change this. We're gonna lose some oratory power, and we're also going to get a little bit of tyranny with that. But I think that's fine because, um, let's see. Yeah, because it's the tyranny is not going to affect our primary culture, only those in the same culture group. There are only five Roman pops there. Uh, what should we choose though? Should we do encourage trade? Should we do borderlands? That'd be extra manpower. I mean, we do need extra manpower. Let's do that. And then for this one, let's just choose something else. Also, like borderlands is good. Just try to get that extra manpower. And I was thinking about it, because I, I was watching the first episode that got released yesterday, and, uh... And that was released on the same day it was recorded, by the way. But, um... I was thinking about it. And I really think we need to just charge ahead on these wars. I don't really want to spend too much time recovering, because, it like, we need to go fast. Okay? Because these... These provinces that we need to get... They are, sorry, these, um... Cities that we need to get. Look, carry aloes all the way over here. We need to get over here. And then in order to get the Aquae Helveticae, where is that one? Oh gosh, where is it? I need, to, I'm, I'm just gonna look it up. <laughs> Aquae Helveticae, this one. This one right here. We need to go way far north in order to reach that. And then for the other one, which is, what is it, Italica? Yeah, that was over here. And I just realized that those are font references, by the way. I cannot believe that I just realized that Italics and Helvetica is one of one font. I don't know Cariala, but yeah, I, I don't know Cariala. I don't know what that's a reference to, but anyway, yes, Times New Roman. Yeah, I get it. Font references. So, uh, we need to take this territory here. And in order to do that, uh, we need to take... Hold on. I don't think we have a... We don't have a claim on this province here. Um... Uh... Well, I mean, we can take it still. I mean, I should be able to take Bikenum. We have a claim on that. The Senate is behind us. We just need to fight off those guys. So let's calculate this. Um, we've got 11 plus 10 is 21. Plus 15 is 36. Stop it, guys. I'm trying to do this on recording. Plus 10 is 46. Ooh. All right. Well, hold on. We have 15 to ourselves. 15 plus 8 is 23, plus 8 is 31, plus 7 is 38, plus 10 is 48. I don't know. I feel like maybe there's some other way. Like, okay, hold on. Sabinia has 10. Plus I would have... I would have to deal with the same guys plus Etruria, so no. No thanks. Now if I deal with Etruria, they only have 13. And then they have, this, these guys have 9, which is 22, and then 32, and then 47. I don't know. I don't know if we're really ready for that. We already have these, these provinces, which we have claims on. I guess we could attack Heraclea. Could attack Heraclea. And Croton. Oh, that's them. I don't know if I want to take them right away, but I could take these guys. I could just take all the city-states. Let's just go for that right now. 
and I hope that we'll be able to recover some manpower, but I don't know for sure if that will happen. Um, so we're just going to have to go for it. Well, let's uh, merge these first. All right. So, yeah, let's try to attack the city-state Heraclea. Pretty good. Pretty good idea, I think. I think. And apparently the military faction is quite influential right now. And it's because of the censor, I think. Plus, the military faction guy does not have bad charisma. I mean, our console has bad charisma, but... What about the decisions we can take? Oh, this could be good. Religious advance is greater than five. Okay, so if we get that... If we get religious text six, then we should be able to do this. And then for this one... Oh, this would be good, too. Martial advance is greater than three. I don't care about proclaimed dictatorship, and I don't care about changing uh, the... Yeah. Yeah, this is a monarchy. This becomes a monarchy. No thanks. All right, let's attack. I'm ready. Take Lucania, seven, eight. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't care. I don't care very much. Can I take this battle? They're like at no morale, because they're not paying the troops. We might be able to do that at some points. Like just kind of reduce the morale and everything, because uh, import wine, sure, take our wine. Should we get an invention here? I like the population growth. I like the grain rations. I really do. I think that's going to be useful. Right? The more pops we have, the stronger we are in many ways. And I don't think it will naturally grow tribesmen unless you're, like, under a certain level of civilization. We can go ahead and promote these tribesmen. Well, one. <laughs> Dang it, man. Um, yeah, I don't think it will naturally grow tribesmen unless you're below a certain civilization level. So as long as we keep our civilization up... Then it won't grow tribesmen, it'll just be growing uh, money, manpower, and research. So, always good. The, the population growth is just a good idea to, to do, in my opinion. So we're going to do this. Uh, where's our navy? Still in independent operations. Let's... Not this guy, jeez. Well, I got two that are ten marshal. But this guy adds enslavement efficiency, at least said this guy and he's got a port here actually two of these have ports this metapontum should that, that must be kind of a difficult start because they don't even have a port they can't even build ships at least these guys can build ships right look they're importing oh yeah yeah they're importing wood so they can make ships these guys they're not importing wood but you can still make ships um, in the 1.1 update, you can build ships even without wood. Sabinia? I don't really care, though. I don't really care if Sabinia is loyal. But I do care if my characters are loyal, so let's... Hey, he's the party leader, isn't he? The next co-consul and a rival of the consul. Oh my gosh. Well, so this, that's why he's not loyal. Scorn family, rival of ruler. Of course, dude, he's... He's the freaking party leader of this guy. Like, uh, he's, the, he's the party leader. Of the populist faction. Rival of ruler is an extra ticking thing. If I give him free hands, then that will negate the loyalty penalty. That's fine, because it's just him getting corruption. It's not... It's not me. Although he is going to be the next co-consul, and corruption is added. So, 7668. So, our ruler is going to be a 7768. Pretty good. I like aristocratic republics. Alright, so we won that siege. Boom. We definitely won the siege. And who... Okay, Carthage. Carthage is trying to take over Sicily. We're going to have to grow quickly because Carthage is at 1,100 pops. We're at 700. We do need to grow by quite a bit before we can take them on. They only... They have 44 cohorts. I, I said only, but that's quite a lot for us right now. 
we also are gaining manpower, so that is good. Trying to import hemp for me? Sure. Go ahead, import all the hemp. We're gaining manpower, so I'm happy about that. Uh, because it's getting us better prepared to go to war with the tribes of the north. Okay, this is improving relations. I don't know how high the, re the, the relations can get. I think I already sent him a gift. Yeah, I already sent him a gift. Um, I don't really know how... Yeah, I don't really know how um, how high the opinion can get from improving relations with those guys, but we'll see, I guess. Also, I really don't like that these guys are sieging down my forts. And they're on plains and farmland, so we don't get any kind of defensive bonus. Well, they're at negative 35, I'm at negative 14, so... Uh, also, harassment works better here. Uh, let's also go with independent operations. I don't know if he'll stay on a blockade. It looks like he is, but he could change at any moment. So, all right. Cool. Let's see here. Can we do this improve opinion maximum? I like that. And it would be nice if we could also get the aggressive expansion change or the aggressive expansion impact, but I think it's all right because hold on, our it says our praetor, yeah, our praetor. Okay, so our praetor or praetor, if you're looking for the actual Latin pronunciation, uh, is actually reducing our aggressive expansion. Uh, it, that's he's basically responsible for all, all of our aggressive expansion decay because we are at war. In a war of aggression, so, well, technically not a war of aggression because I did have a claim. But do I become friends with the co-consul? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, and he becomes loyal, more loyal. Should I grant stipends? I don't know what his wage is. What is his wage? I, I don't know what, like, what is his wage? 5%, 5% of the nation's income. Aha, uh -huh. all right, 5% of that. Yes. Yep, that makes sense. The console and the co-console? Yep. Oh, I gotta fight. Oh, crap, this is gonna... This is gonna put me down on manpower a little bit. But it looks like... Fortunately, it looks like my subject is helping me out. Okay, it looks like we're gonna win this battle pretty handily, but how many did I, did I lose? I lost, like... 1,400? I don't like that. I really don't. Because now I gotta replenish that. So, oh well. Do what you gotta do. And also, do you see that? They were totally behind on the sieges, and now they're gonna now they won both of them before I won mine. Yeah. That's that's how this game works. <laughs> that's how it works. Plus plus one point two. Okay, researcher needed. We need a Wow! Twelve charisma. What? And he's in the populist faction? Dude, he needs to be the Praetor. Hold on. He needs to be the Praetor. And then I will make the 10 guy our researcher. There's a lot of scorned families, by the way. Yeah, I don't think we should really welcome any more families, because they're all going to become scorned families, and uh, it's going to be impossible to please all of them. There's only so many jobs that we can give out. Like, what, are we just gonna make, like, a single cohort and then make him a commander? Like... Ah, oh, come on! They're gonna win another siege, watch. 21%, go. See? What did I say? Look at that, they're winning so many sieges, and I can't even win this one. Can I take this? Yeah, they still wouldn't accept it. Once at war, substantial land lost, lost, last major battle, yeah. I don't like that. 
So we need to take this. We need to take this right now. Come on, there we go. Took it. Can we separately piece somebody? Metapontum. We can. We can take... Oh, what did I do? I actually minimized it. Sorry about that. Okay. Took that. Now we got this. Our enemies deserve no quarter. We get some popularity. Boom. Uh, we get some money also. Don't give the general extra troops for no reason. Still gotta replenish our manpower. But it looks like it's kind of just remaining stagnant. It's not actually decreasing. Uh, now we took this thing and it's on Borderlands. It probably doesn't need to be Borderlands. It probably needs to be cultural assimilation with this one. The religious conversion, I don't care because they, they are our same... They are, they're the same religion as we are, so... Come on, come on, give me this thing. All right. Yeah, they still won't accept that. It's negative 23 reasons. I don't like that. We need... A tail or... <laughs> because I ripped my pants. All right, stop that. Stop. We need a blockade. That's what we need. Once we blockade... Oh, and it looks like those other provinces are gaining loyalty. Even though they were disloyal for a while because of this stupid cultural assimilation guy. I think we should be kind to the other Italic cultures, uh, and only really work on, like, only really work on converting the non-Italic cultures. Because even though they're not the same culture as us, like, they're affected by aggressive expansion, not tyranny, um, ooh, a claim on every city in the land, in the areas of Epirus and Illyria Graecia. Hold on. Illyria Graecia. Maybe it's provinces. Ah, yes, I gain a claim on all of these provinces here. So I could just declare war on these guys. But I'm not quite ready. I'm not quite ready for it. Also, isn't Pyrrhus supposed to be awesome? Yeah, that. Mm, he's good. I don't know if he gets any kind of, like, uh bonuses to help him out, like some event bonuses, because he was an important guy in history. That's where the saying Pyrrhic victory comes from, you know, because uh, when you when you win, but you lose a lot in the process, it's a Pyrrhic victory. And it comes from Pyrrhus, and Epirus, and Epirus, or, I, guys, I don't know pronunciation. I know a little bit of Latin pronunciation, that's it. <laughs> I can help you on American pronunciation, a little bit of Latin pronunciation and Korean pronunciation. Korea is not in this map, but let's see. Um, Phrygia doing okay. Byzantium, look at that. Conquer Bithynia and Chalcedon. They actually got some land from that. Also, we got this. Who occupied this? Who's occupying that? Oh, me. But but it doesn't look red. I don't know. That's strange. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Lucania, no. Not Croton. Tarentum. There we go. And I can, of course, annex them. Which gets more troops out of the battle. Or out of the war. And, of course, we're trying to culturally assimilate them. Culturally enrich. Right? Uh, are we at war with these guys? Yes, we are. This is Lucania. Alright, so then we, we definitely need to take these guys, too. I'll probably just... Uh, Heraclea's got a huge army. That could... What? Oh, it's Lucania's army, too. And Croton, also. Croton is... Croton's a little bit on the bigger side. Not just a city-state. They've got one, two, three cities. All right. So... I don't know. Yeah, my subjects are not having an easy time with this. They're, they're not really enjoying their sel themselves too much, right? Shouldn't be too hasty. Uh, oh, what? Because he's in debt. Caught with, oh, no, no, no. Caught with a mason hand. Said to have been ready to strike down Marcus Fulvius Curvus. He didn't like the general of, of the legion. He didn't like the general. So he's about to strike him down, because he's in a religious faction, maybe. 
in a brutal act of violence, luckily passers-by were quick enough to act and prevent this charitable deed. And we now have uh, the unenviable task of passing judgment on the wicked Quintus. But he's so good, though. I really want the, the chance to, like, have him elected or something. He's going to gain loyalty, which is already 100. The general is going to lose some loyalty. I don't like that the general is losing so much loyalty. Let's bribe him. Personally bribe. And maybe we grant stipends also. Wow, that is... That was, uh... <laughs> wow. That was a sound. That was definitely a sound. Can we just take this? We can just take this province, uh, this city now. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Alright, war over. We've gained a little bit of manpower. Our enemies deserve no quarter. I'm at 100% popularity. And we're all good with this. Now, these guys are Greek culture, I believe. Yeah, but you know what? I have I have plenty of uh, oratory power. I'm just gonna, con I'm just gonna uh, assimilate all of them. I don't give a crap. I'll assimilate all of them. Now I don't need to worry about it. I'm not getting very much loyalty here, but... I think once our war exhaustion goes down, we'll be alright. We also need to increase our stability, and for that we need to stab a piggy. <laughs> alright. So, now, how can we take down these guys? Oh, look at that. That, that alliance is not so strong anymore. So it's 10... Plus 11, which is 21, plus 7 is 28. I can do that. I think I can do that. They've only got two allies. Sabinia has all those allies. These guys have just that single ally, but they've got a sub... Oh, they're in a defensive league, so... So I'd have to fight all those three. Same thing if I were to fight these guys. So might as well just declare war on these guys, because they have a province that's easier to siege. Boom. Dude, 100% of the Senate. Every single member of the Senate approves of calling in our allies. 88 members of the Senate approve of declaring war on these guys. The only thing that we really have to worry about is the fact that they're a tribe and basically get unlimited manpower from their clan retinues. But I don't care. I am going to declare war anyway. Boom. I'm right on their border right now. Let's go. Yeah, we're there. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll allow attachment. Do we need shock action? Let's do bottleneck. Let's go for bottleneck. It's not really working well against their tactic, but I had so much more morale anyway. <laughs> so, and as you can see, like even though I had so much more morale, um, they just sort of left the battle before they could die. So that's that's why I didn't kill very many. That's why I didn't stack wipe them. Alright, should I do primary culture happiness? Let's do that. And then when we get the next martial advance, we get siege and... Oh, yeah, dude. I like all of those. I like every single one of those inventions. Wrong culture happiness I also like, because we're conquering Italic cultures. And, you know, they're in the same culture group, but different culture. So I need to be ready to pacify them. Um... We'll try of course. Monthly loyalty might be good if I've got some leftover points, but I probably won't. Wrong culture group happiness could be really good for when I start conquering Greece. But I don't really know if I want to, like, really go for Greece because... Like, maybe a little bit, but... Not, like, a ton, because... Because, remember, like, nothing that we're actually trying to get is in Greece. Right, we need Cariala, we need Helvetica, whatever, and we need Italica. Italica is... Ugh, somewhere over here. <laughs> somewhere over there, that's all we gotta worry about. And it's kind of a race, honestly. It's, it's kind of a difficult... It's a difficult race, because... Um, you know, oh, hold on, this guy's in power? Crap, let's spend some money. Oh, that's a lot of money that we'd be spending. I think it's worth it. We reduce the corruption also, so... Populist faction empowered. 
Okay, so I kind of understand this in interaction now. I like I used to think, well, like if the populist faction is losing influence, then why would it say populist faction empowered? But the populist faction is sort of like trying to reduce the corruption of everyone. Like it's trying to cut down on corruption, and so it sort of makes sense that their their influence would kind of go away as the corruption goes away. Everybody starts to be a little less corrupt, and they're just like, okay, then we're fine now. They're pacified. I really want to get some of these things, but I have to- I really need to wait. I'm only four years ahead of time, so... Now, conquering Greece would be good for research, because... Um... The thing is... Uh, they've, there's a lot of citizens in Greece. And look at the civilization value. Look, it's like the highest in the entire world. I wonder where that is in Athens. 57. 57 right now. Whereas in Roma, it's 46. Oh, crap. We lost a... Oh, we lost a big battle. Look at that. We lost quite a bit of troops. Ah, oh, jeez, man. I didn't even get... To I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad about it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? That sucks. We weren't able to even take the freaking... Fort. I would try to separately piece these guys, but unfortunately you have to be in the war for a minimum amount of time before you can do that. You know what I you know what I need to do is once these guys are finished retreating, to make I've gotta make sure I contest the war goal, otherwise he can enforce a white peace. So I'm gonna have to go and hold on, this is a fort. Ah oh, gosh, man. I've gotta try and go over here and contest the war goal a little bit. That really sucks that I that I can't do that very easy. Hold on, am I at war with I'm at war with Etruria. And I have no idea how that happened. Okay, well, the war goal is still Pekenum, so I need to go contest the war goal as much as I can. And I guess that means... I don't even know. It looks like I have to siege down both of these. Unless... Unless I navally land there. Then I can sort of walk around here... Yeah, I can walk around this coast and not have to worry about the fort. I really hate this. I cannot believe. Look, they outnumber us now. They have the same amount of heavy infantry. Uh, a lot more light infantry. Yeah, they, they pretty much outnumber us. Shipwrecked? Lose some money and get an extra trade route. I can't import anything right now. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna move over here. And then I'm gonna move into this C zone. And then we will see if we can move over here, actually. Here's where I wanna go first, because this one's just gonna get retaken by the fort. Two forts, really. Uh, so I need to just sit on that for a while and gain some war score, and then, and then I can move into one of the forts? I don't know, man. Let him sell his soul. Quintus loses some money. Loses... 100 prestige, gains 20 conviction. Alright. Or I lose the money, and he gains more. But I don't think I can afford to lose money. I think I'd rather let the party leader do it. He's still in the mercantile faction. I, You know what? He probably would have switched if I would have done it. Uh, hold on. Quintus. He becomes the... Praefectus Militaris. Sure, yeah, I can give him the job. He's better at it. <laughs> He's better at the job, why not? 
All right, so this kind of sucks because our subject is just kind of fighting an uphill battle here. They're they're not doing so well. I'm going to promote these tribesmen real quick for 30 civic power. Yeah, the our uh, our subjects are really not doing so well. And I really hate that. They're just they're just throwing they're just bashing their heads up against the wall. And it's not going to work out for them. Oh, I didn't even realize the city was adjacent. Crap. Am I going to have to fight? Oh, jeez. I don't like this at all. That's farmland. They're marching into here anyway. Might as well fight on defensive turf. Well, no, I, I don't know. I don't know which turf would be defensive or whatever. I'm, I'm really screwed here because I'm trapped. I need to win this battle fast. Oh, please. Please, before the 26th. I think I can do it. Before the 26th. Yes, okay, I won that. Now? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be brutal for me. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so bad. Can I retreat here? Oh, thank goodness I can retreat through the fort. This is really bad, guys. I did not expect to have to fight a Trurio with their 15 extra cohorts. I have no idea how to win this war. But that being said, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and join the Discord server. Also, thank you so much to Shem for being my Patreon supporter. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, please feel free to click the link down in the description below. That being said, thank you so much for watching one more time, and I will see you guys next time.